you got to make this minute rest feel like a 15 minutes rest to the boy going out there. So you can't afford to lose one second getting that stool in there and the boy down in it. You've only got a minute to replace the oxygen that's lost, revive him and everything else. He's got to go out there, bone dry, spick and span, he's come in proper shape and he's breathing normal in the short space of a minute. ingrained with tradition, man against man. Come on, Johnny, boy, you know you can flap him. Come on, Johnny, you can put him to sleep. Come on, Johnny, bring a couple of hoops at him. Pound him and clout him and throw him up. Because Johnny, he's out on his feet. I'm taking a tan and earning my living. Out on his feet, I am as well. Blood in my eyes, I got to keep on my feet until the sound of the bell. <laughs> It's a job of work. I'm doing my job. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
What will we do with the man in the ring? What will we do with the man in the ring? What will we do, says Jack Millard? What will we do, says everyone? We'll pay him to fight, says Billy the Bob. And flatten his nose, says Billy the Bob. And punish his body, says Jack Millard. And cheer when he's caught, says everyone. What will we do with a bull in the ring? What will we do with a bull in the ring? What will we do, says Jack Millard? What will we do, says everyone? Six darts in his back, says Billy the Bob. And set him alight, says Billy the Bob. Put a sword in his belly, says Jack Millard. And finish him up, says everyone. What will we do with the man in the lion's den? What will we do with him, says Billy the Bob. What will we do with him, says Jack Millard. What'll we do when, says everyone? We'll spit in his face, says Billy the Bob. As he's torn apart, says Billy the Bob. And bless the cage, says Jack Millard. And watch him die, says everyone. Oh, look at that. You ain't gonna make it. It's over, mate. It's over. It's all over. Bloody ridiculous to match him, mate. No match for him, mate. No match. Don't worry, John. Don't worry, John. It's only the guy, isn't it? It's a rough game, a tough game, needing guts and skills. And you'll never make a boxer if you haven't got the will. I'd never not boxing. Boxing's been good to me. I've seen the world, I've travelled all over the world where I wouldn't have if I hadn't have done boxing. A real British thing, full of vim and full of vitality. That is what fighting is. It's life, men. You're alone. On your own, when you're up there in the ring and waiting in. Mm-hmm. That'll go on and on for years. That's just how the nation's living. One of the greatest shocks I ever had in my life was when I was invited to the House of Commons and I had a seat in the Strangers' Gallery. It was so small and I looked down and it was a shock to think there had sat ordinary human beings, two arms, two legs, same as me, with tongues in their head, and they'd agreed to organise the killing of millions of people. And yet in that same house, I jump up there, screeching the head off about a sturdy individual business like boxing. The battle is done well. The fighters departed, leaving the litter and the spoils of the crowd. The empty beer bottles. The torn silver paper, the spent cigarette smoke that hangs like a shroud. The champions have gone and the black squad takes over. The ring is dismantled, the ropes lose the strain, the cleaners are sponging the blood of the canvas, the blood of the heroes is swelled down. 